Good morning from Lagos. This is Christopher Wassane, President of AWPS Renewable Energy Limited Nigeria, also President of Atlantic Waste and Power Inc. New Jersey. Uh, today we're going to do a little video and the video is something a lot of you have asked us to do. They said, do a little video telling us a little bit more about solar. So here we go. What we're going to do is answer questions people have asked us. So the first one is, how does solar work? Well, that's a very good question. We have three components that make up your system. One, your panels. Two, your charge controller. Three, your battery. And finally, I said three, it's four. And then your inverter. The panels take sunlight, convert it into DC electricity. The charge controller manages that DC electricity and it puts it into your batteries. And then the battery releases that energy into your inverter that converts it into AC electricity that can power your household items. So very simply, your panels are your pump, your batteries are your fuel tank, and the manager of that device or the meter is your charge controller. So the panels feed electricity or fuel into your batteries and the meter manages the electricity that's being fed into your batteries. How is solar different from what we sell in Nigeria called an inverter? Well, an inverter really is a UPS system. What is a UPS? UPS is an uninterruptible power supply. So it's actually backup instead of a primary power source. So what you have is a device that's able to uh, that when power fails, lets you manage whatever appliances you have connected till you turn it off. Now you add additional big batteries, which is what you do in Nigeria. So UPS is a temporary solution, or an inverter, as you guys call it, is a temporary solution. A solar installation is more permanent. You could use it as your primary, or you could use it as backup. So it's more robust. It's self-charging. It does not need a generator or NEPA or PHCM to charge it like your inverter does. Can solar power an air conditioner and pump water? The answer is actually yes. The system you see behind me is 2 kilowatts. And this 2 kilowatt system runs the fridge and also, power, and also pumps water. Can you run ACs? We have a couple of 5 kilowatt systems that power ACs. One in Porta called powers 3 1.5 horsepower ACs. So yes, the answer is it can, power, it can pump water and it could also power AC. Is the light coming from NEPA as is the light coming from the solar power as strong as what comes from NEPA? Well, my experience in Nigeria has been that NEPA supplies anywhere between 165 and 205. For the first time, I saw 217 today. We supply 219 to as much as 229. So the power we provide is cleaner and also more powerful than what NEPA provides. How long does the system last? Well, the different components I'll go through. The panels will last about 25 years. There are panels that are, have been out in the market and they've been around for longer than 25 years. So that will last you the longest. The batteries, if you manage them very well, if you use the um, dry cell as you call them, or we'll call them sealed dead acid batteries, they can last you between three and five years. The batteries you see behind me, these are Trojan flooded lead acid batteries. They can last as much as seven years. If you get the IND, which are the bigger ones, they can last you longer than 10 years. So what determines how long your batteries last is how properly you charge them. The inverter, which is this device behind me, there is really no moving parts to it. And if you don't do something stupid, you can get up to 10 years from them. The charge controller, um, this is actually the one that does the most work because it gets hot and it gets cold. You can get four or five years out of them. What uh, maintenance do you need? Well, that's a big one. The batteries here need to be periodically watered and cleaned. Your panels need to be cleaned, especially during the hammer season where it's very dusty. You take a mop, put it in a bucket, and you clean it. That's all there is to it. During the rainy season, you don't need to do it as much. And the reason why you need to clean the panels is to... Re um, already you're losing, some pro you're losing some production from your panels due to wiring and your inverter. And when it gets covered in dust, filth and grime, you lose even more. So you don't want to lose that much production. You lose as much as an additional 20%. So cleaning it will let, will let you get the maximum out of your panels. How much does it cost? 
Well, when compared to the initial outlay of a generator, it costs much more. But when you compare it to running a generator, it costs much less. Our system starts at 550,000 Naira for a 2 kilowatt system, and it goes up from there depending on your needs. Where can I get one? That's a very good question. Well, www.atlanticwastepower.com or send us an email at info, I-N-F-O, at atlanticwastepower.com. Again, it's www.atlanticwastepower.com or info at atlanticwastepower.com. Our phone number is in Nigeria is 234-1404-1003. Again, it's 234-1404-1003. Hopefully this helped and I look forward to doing another video and answering more questions. Thank you very much.